Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next section in the Kira custom settings is the speed section. Now, this is a section that's highly dependent on your hardware, the machine itself. If you have a pre-made or pre-bought printer that is in Ultimaker's list of supported printers, when you are setting up Kira, definitely select that. It should get you the closest parameter to what is the usual for the printer that you're using. Now for me, 75 is what's plugged in here, and this is for my Ender 3. That's a little high for my Ender 3. It does do pretty well at speeds, but I tend to go for quality over speed, and that's one of the things you want to consider here. If you turn the printer down, in most cases, it will increase quality, but it will also increase print time. So you want to find that happy medium for your machine. Uh, like I said, basically, Using the default setting is fine. Adjust it up and down a couple millimeters per second while you're printing your models over a long period of time and eventually you will tune it into what you find as the sweet spot between quality and quantity, I guess you would say. Um, you'll note under print speed there are several different speeds that are listed here. Infill speed, wall speed, outer wall speed, inner wall speed, top and bottom speed. Now these are done on a percentage basis and they are calculated based on this first number. You can see if I hit this reload button, Kira settings have this fancy thing where it'll automatically pop back to what it is set to for my default profile settings and for the Ender 3 it is 50. I was slicing this model to print it a little bit faster so I did increase the speed to 75 as this filament is a particulate filament which means that it has stuff in it and it comes out a little rougher looking anyway so I wasn't too worried about having every perfect detail. There are a couple other items in speed, including travel speed and initial layer speed. These are things that are, well, initial layer speed, for example, is very similar to initial print temperature. It's basically going to print that first layer slower or faster, depending on how well your adhesion is going, what the bed is doing, how hot it is, uh, if you need to speed it up or slow it down just to get something to stick. Um, that's what this is for. Skirt and brim speed is exactly what it sounds like. And basically, the number of slower layers is going to determine how long it takes before it starts to speed up past the initial layer speed. So all of that's pretty self-explanatory and simple, but I guess you could say that about most of these settings. Remember, we will be going into more depth the actual settings themselves, but right now this is basically an over overview of the capabilities of each section of Kira. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.